is tarot and how did it originate? Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have over 30 years experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insight, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. The tarot is a visual representation, usually painted or drawn onto a set of cards, of aspects within ourselves and experiences that we have, both spiritual and practical. The cards can be used for divination, but they're also a process for spiritual development, as you're learning about yourself and your experience of the world as you study them. The tarot deck is 78 cards, and each has a very specific meaning. This is where tarot cards differ from oracle or divination cards. Tarot cards follow a structure and you can pick up any deck and the cards will have the same meaning. Divination or oracle cards have no such structure. The tarot deck is split into categories. Four aces, numerical cards from 2 to 10, court cards, knights, queens, princes and princesses or similar names. These all fall into suits which are wands, cups, swords and discs. The suits represent the four elements. Wands are fire, cups are water, Swords are air and discs are earth. Aces are one of each suit. So you have one of each suit in the numerical cards, including the aces, and one card of each suit in the court cards. Then there are the major arcana, or trumps. Arcana means secrets or mysteries. The major arcana are strong cards and represent different aspects of the personality and the steps on the path to enlightenment. The major arcana are numbered from 0 to 21. Zero represents subconscious contact with the superconscious. One represents mental and physical states that help draw your attention to the immediate environment. Two is forces that bring forward our receptivity and memories, including from our subconscious. Three is concerned with the creative imagination. And so on through the numbers until the end, where you are eventually a balanced and well-rounded personality. So you have 22 modes of human consciousness. Our wise predecessors 700 years ago tested this theory over and over until they came up with a set of 22 images that fitted these human conscious experiences. But moreover, they tested the images and how people responded to them. The structure they created still fits with today's modern life. After rechecking their data several times, they contracted artists from the group to create the cards themselves and requested that two packs be commissioned. The first was made up of elaborate images and the second was a crude interpretation which omitted large amounts of the detail but which could be used in public. The original images had to be memorised first. This is why many packs are so plain looking or only contain the very basic images. They were actually intended to be used once you already knew all the details. The basic version was dis disguised as a game because the occult knowledge at the time was extremely dangerous, as in punishable by torture or death. These cards evolved into the ordinary pack of playing cards that we know today. Some people stu still use these ordinary playing cards for divination. The secret cards have been in use in schools of occult study, what we call the inner school, since the year 1200. Known back then as the word rota, meaning wheel, the letters were rearranged and played about with, as is often the case in Kabbalistic teachings, to form the word tarot. Learning the tarot properly, not just the divination meanings from the booklet, will bring about change in your personality for the better. It is an exercise in know thyself, much the same way that entering the Sapphira on the Tree of Life works. In fact, all the tarot cards fit onto the Tree of Life, so the meanings of the cards become very clear as you walk the paths and experience them for yourself. The tarot is a complex topic, but once you realise the cards are supposed to be experienced rather than learned, it becomes much easier to remember the meaning of each card. You can start learning simply by obtaining a pack and learning the meanings from the booklet. You don't have to wait for someone to gift you a pack. You can go and buy some yourself. Choose a tarot pack you're drawn to. Tell us in the comments which pack you use and why you like it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.